Okay, what's up with it? And today I have another little tip for y'all today. So today's tip of advice involves a strategy that I use quite often and that is not protecting your borders. Um, and this game is a perfect example, specifically with uh, Africa in this case. So here we have just some development at the beginning of the game so y'all can see. I kind of started to keep all my troops in Africa. You can see purple, green, and all of them all have a continent now except for blue. So I like to be the last person to get a continent. That's another thing because usually players start fighting each other um, like purple is here. And uh, you'll see them kind of going back and forth. Now, not guarding your borders doesn't necessarily mean not to put any troops on the border at all. Um, but what I do here is uh, I put just enough troops there to make it where they don't really want to attack, but, but not so many that I'm going to lose a ton of troops if they do attack. So like here, I've got eight and four and then I clump my big army right underneath those, touching those borders so that they don't really want to break through to my big army. Yeah, so here they're just attacking back and forth. Um, you can see they're, uh, they're all guarding their borders. Um, they're kind of an example of what not to do a lot of the time at least. And they're, they're putting all their troops on the border, threatening each other, and this is leading to more and more tension and, and then ultimately losing larger armies. As you can see, so far I haven't been attacked once, I don't think, in this whole game. So uh, at this point we can just watch, um, just to, I wanna show you what kind of goes on with these players and what they do how they just attack each other back and forth. All the while, I'm just sitting there gaining more and more troops, getting stronger and stronger. So uh, purple and yellow just keep going back and forth. Yeah, purple's trying to take too much territory. He kind of realizes that after several attacks, losing tons and tons of troops, he kind of pulls back to just focus more on South America. Um, green obviously left because he kept getting attacked. And here I think Green just takes Orange out completely. Which was weird because he's so weak. If this was progressive cards, that might be a good move, but I mean, he's just getting like a few cards. So it just wasn't at all smart for him to do that. Um, the only time I would do something like what Green just did here is if, is if uh, I felt like I was about to get taken out, so I wanted to take one more player out, just so my finishing place would be higher, so it'd be better for my rank. But I don't think that was the case here. No one was really able to take him out. He had 40 troops. He shouldn't have taken Orange out. Uh, just as a side note, um, yeah. And purple and and yellow just keep going at it. Now Green just tries to establish, re-establish himself in Australia. Um, as you can see, I think at this point I have more troops than anyone else. Yeah, definitely. So skipping ahead, this is where it looks like Yellow became a bot. I don't know why he quit, um, but whatever happened, he either disconnected or he just got tired of it and he became a bot and attacked my continent. But again, I didn't have so many troops guarding it that it, I didn't lose that many because I had my big army clumped. So I didn't lose that many when he attacked my borders because I didn't put that many troops on my borders. Okay, so what happened here, I had taken out green because he was the weak guy. And uh, at this point, I'm just way stronger than everyone because they just basically killed each other off attacking each other too much. So here I just take, uh, this is something I do a lot, I take, uh, 
South America next as I start to expand. So they uh, they basically they all guarded their borders, built up tension between each other, attacked each other, killed each other's armies off. As they did that, players were taken out. I grew stronger. I expanded. And now it's just cleaning these guys up. Um, yeah. Here Purple tries to make his final last ditch effort, but I mean, really. So. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just an interesting uh, way you can play, and you can do this with any continent. <clears throat> it doesn't have to just be Africa. Um, it works really well with Africa. The one, one of the exceptions is if there's a bot right towards the beginning that's near you, then you may have to guard your borders against the bot. Um, but if it's all human players, typically they won't attack you if you have a huge army inside your continent and then smaller armies around that. Um, now, the, some of the new bots are really aggressive and they'll even attack your big armies if you if you guard your borders, so then it would even be a problem to guard your borders anyways. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, go out and be great. <laughs>